Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have a Bradford Exchange Ghostbusters Ecto-1 124 scale sculpted car. And once again, like I said, this came from the Bradford Exchange. I ordered this, I want to say about two to three months ago, thereabouts, and just received it just a couple days ago. Uh, that is typical for the Bradford Exchange. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with that website, it's uh, www.bradfordexchange.com. And they sell fine adult collectibles. Um, a lot of the stuff that they have on there, if you order it for whatever reason, it takes a month or two or more uh, to get to you. They'll send these little uh, cards in the mail if it's going to take a while. Um, I don't know why they do that. I want to say that it's items that aren't technically in stock yet. And they're just really like a... Um, advertisement for to see how much interest is in the item and if they get enough interest then they go ahead and manufacture it and then they send it to you that's my guess that's the only thing I can figure that they do uh, the items that you know are in stock is that they'll have like an express shipping uh, option available for the items that have that option available for express shipping they have to you know ship it quickly right because it, uh, it being express tells me that those items they do have in stock so you definitely want to look at that when you look at the Bradford Exchange. If you're wanting to order like a gift for Christmas or if you need it in a timely manner, like within a week or two, I would not buy from there uh, for that purpose, for gift giving within a certain time frame. If, if you like what they have and can wait on it, then yeah, they got nice things. But for a, um, if you want something in a timely fashion, that's not a good company go to go through to get something quickly. Uh, some items they can ship out super quick. It just depends if it's in stock or not. And everything they have online does not mean it's in stock. So, um, back to this Ecto-1. So this is a 124 scale. And here it is up close. It's, uh, it looks to be made of resin. Oh, don't drop it. It looks pretty nice as Ecto-1 there. New York. It's got all the stuff on the top, so pretty cool. So, I mean, it looks pretty nice. The windows are painted black. Um, and so let's light this thing up. So this one has, oh wait, let's see what this says. Yeah, 124 scale sculptural car. General Motors trademarks, and then it has the Bradford Exchange and then the part, or the um, item number. So let's go ahead and light this. Now this has two modes. The first mode has the sound and the light. So it plays the music, uh, the theme song. Um, I don't think it does the lyrics. But for uh, the copyright thing, I can't play it for too long. It may have already kicked it up. Actually, but if it did, it did. Um, and then the other mode is just the lights. And I'm pretty sure that this thing did not, um, that this item does not play the lyrics. It just plays the music for the um, Ghostbusters theme song. So, and something's rattling around in there. I'm not sure what that is. Probably a piece of resin broken loose. Oh, yes, it's Ghostbusters, written by Ray Parker Jr. It has all the information for the uh, song. Um, so there's that. So it's pretty pretty neat. Uh, I want to say this retailed for $140, and that does not include the shipping. So the shipping, I don't remember what the shipping was, possibly around $18 or so. Um, you're looking at about 160 bucks or whatever for, for this. And so I'm going to show you another Ecto-1 that we have. And this is, I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because I'm just going to leave it in the box. It came in um, this box here. It's called Hollywood Rides Ecto-1 Ghostbusters. And... Um, metals die cast right there so it comes in that that looking box there 
And so here it is. And now this is a, like I said, a die cast car. So this one is metal, not the resin that that one is. And this door opens. This hood opens. The back door opens. Um, let's see if it's got uh, the same bumper. Yeah, they both. Yeah, they both have the bumper sticker. This one's yellow and this one's orange. And it's also got all that stuff on the top. So this one's pretty nice. So if you wanted something for a kid, um, I we use this as a collectible. But uh, this obviously you can't use that. This even says not intended for children, and I would agree with that. There's really not. It doesn't roll. You do. You don't play with it. But this one has op doors that open. This door does not open, but this one does. Um, as far as I know, it does. Yeah, it rolls. And this they're saying is also a one in twenty-four scale. But as you can see, this car is bigger than this one. This one's considerably, or not considerably bigger, but it is bigger uh, than this one. And I think some people online were because um, I, I went and researched this online to see what other people were saying about it and they were saying that this actually was too small for a 124 so that's something to keep in mind that this is probably more accurate to scale as far as 124 scale goes than this one is and this one also doesn't play music it doesn't light up there's no frills to it it's just a metal really nice looking ecto-1 car so it just goes what you prefer i mean Price-wise, this one was $35, which is a lot cheaper than the than the $140 that this was. So, but this one lights up and plays music. So, is that worth you know the extra money? That's a little bit bigger, plays music, lights up, uh, makes the uh, siren sound. Um, the doors don't open or anything and it is resin so well, resin versus metal it just just depends on what you like now this one has a uh, antenna on it this one does not so anyway so there's those and then this little one here is also um, you know the Ecto-1 this is a 132 scale also Hollywood Ride so same company and that that the bigger one is from and it's a cute little car too. So there's a lot of lot of nice displayable um, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 vehicles out there that, that you can choose from. But yep, I just wanted to show you this one from the Bradford Exchange. I actually got mine, so if you go on there and order one, um, it could be possible you could get one fairly quickly as well. Uh, I don't know like I said it's hit or miss with the Bradford exchange it, it really is not a reliable quickly shipped uh, company now it is a reliable company everything I've ordered from them I've gotten or they've not charged me for things that they've canceled and they would send a little note or letters if, if you ordered something that they're not going to make um, they always are are good about uh, providing information on those things but as I said, they are just very, very slow at shipping things. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I thank you for watching. And please subscribe.